Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office. Today I'm going to be testing out a few microphone options because as you may know when you're recording video sound is very important as I've learned to my uh, peril. So I want to compare and contrast between three different methods. One is to use the sound that the camera records directly and that's what you're hearing now. Another is to use a shotgun mic, such as one of these Rode video mics. Um, these have a built-in pre-amplifier that um, boosts the uh, sound, pre-amplifies the sound before it gets to the camera, so that should hopefully remove a bit of noise and give you a good healthy signal. Also there's a high pass filter on these, so they're designed to take out sort of background hiss and rumble. And then we're going to try one of these, which is a, again, pre-amplified clip-on uh, lapel mic. And the aim of these is to really capture your voice with, by, and really minimise the um, ambient sound that's captured. So something uh, I've noticed, for example, uh, with a shotgun mic, and these are, these are very good, but for example, behind me there's sometimes some road noise, and uh, these get picked up. Uh, these, these, these get picked up by the uh, shotgun mic you know, quite clearly, and even when you turn the filtering on, it's still there. Um, whereas this might um, defeat that. Now, another downside, though, with the shotgun mic is if you turn your head to talk uh, at a different angle, you, you notice a, a decrease in amplitude on the sound received. So there's pros and cons on all of them. I, I, you know, I, I'm just experimenting here. So what I'm going to do is talk to the camera for a little while, and I'm going to turn 90 degrees, and I'm going to talk to the uh, back office door. Um, so this is the test now really with the inbuilt microphone on the camera. So Mary had a little lamb, she kept it in a bucket. Uh, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And now I'm going to switch on to the different microphones and we'll see what they're like. Okay, I'm now recording with the shotgun microphone and this is just set to pre-amplify but not high-pass filter. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I quite like these Rode video mics. They seem a little bit expensive, but I think you'll find if you're using a DSLR, probably a very uh, useful addition to your kit. This is the same microphone now, but with the high-pass filter engaged. So I can hear, if I listen quietly, a slight hiss of road noise. So we'll see if that's apparent in the video footage. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I'm quite curious as to the effect uh, that the lapel mic will have. Um, it comes with a three meter lead, so really um, that should really be long enough to get anywhere. And I think if you're using a three meter lead, that preamplifier is going to help that wire not not pick up a lot of hum and noise from things like mobile phones. Okay, now I'm going to switch into the lapel mic. As you can see, the microphone comes with quite a few bits and pieces, so this will be a battery for the preamplifier. This will be the preamplifier itself in line. A couple of different types of connector. This, this one will go straight into the uh, my camera, and obviously the lapel clip itself. Okay, you can see the wire here. This is because I haven't bothered um, extending the full sort of two three meters of it. Um, so this is with the preamplifier turned off on the lapel mic. I'll be quiet for a moment so you can hear if there's any road noise. And I'm going to turn my head here and hopefully it should still sound the same. I know I'm, this is getting tugged a little bit so it might change a little bit but yes. So testing the one two three I can see the back office 3D printer. Okay. Just heard a kid, our kind of our kid screaming. So we'll see if that's getting picked up. Now I'm going to turn on the preamplifier. 
Okay, so this is the same thing, but with the pre-amplifier turned on. I don't know what effect it is. It's, a, it's got two settings. This It's got a smartphone setting and a standard setting. So I'm guessing you could use a smart a recording app on your smartphone. The actual uh, jack did have, um, I think, the extra uh, band on the jack, so perhaps it's, it's smartphone compatible. It's quite a good idea, though, to use your smartphone for recording. I asked to consider that myself, because I do have an Olympus digital recorder that I sometimes use alongside the rest of this equipment, but often the uh, battery seemed to be dead in it, despite being turned off. I'll be quiet a little bit now so we can see if there's any road noise. Okay, I'll have a little listen to this uh, and then uh, we can sum up. Hi, I'm back and um, I promised you a conclusion of sorts, but I've actually been through the video several times now, jumping between each uh, option. And I've got to say I found it very difficult really to hear much difference between any of these. Um, you know, the marginals, you know, in all of them you can hear a little bit of uh, road noise if you have the uh, volume turned right up, You've, you can always hear that, if a car passes you can always hear that, I guess that's to be expected. Um, what I find amazing is the, just how little difference there is between all of these. Um, whoa! Perhaps this one uh, will have a much bigger difference now if it doesn't work anymore. But. Um, Perhaps really it's the application, you know, maybe outdoors this thing will work great. Um, maybe there'll be a far bigger difference. You wouldn't want to use a lapel mic outdoors because it will constrain you. Perhaps I had the, uh, I was using the camera earlier today outdoors without any of these and um, it was a bit windy and all I heard was wind noise. So perhaps that's when something like this will really um, start highlighting its main features. So. Uh, it's hard to draw any sort of conclusion now at the moment. I would say really, depending on your application, um, if you can't fork out for a £50, £100, however much these things are going for, I think if you go on eBay and you get one of these Boya uh, Lavalier preamp mics, um, you can get them for £6.99 from China or from £15 for the same thing already in the UK. So someone's basically brought it in for you and charging you a non-cost. So yeah, in, in conclusion, Get both if you can afford it and keep them in your kit bag. Um, and if you can only get one, decide based on your budget. Thanks for watching.